Hey, it's Patrick from Possum Born Motorsport. Uh, we're back for June's workshop update and we've got a lot of exciting projects on the go. So we are now officially white line dealer. So very exciting times. So we can help you with all your suspension needs now. Um, if you've got any questions, get in touch. I'll show you through what we've got here this month. So we can start by the 86 that we've got behind me. So next to me we've got Jordan's 86. He's recently imported the car from Japan. It's had a whole bunch of modifications done over there and it's got a HKS supercharger kit. So he just brought it over, brought it in for a once over and we're retuning the car for him. Make sure it's good for New Zealand fuel and get the most power out of it. This car has got some special goodies from Japan. So it's got a full Tom's uh, body kit, as well as some wheat sport wheels, which make it really stand out. Lucas dropped his new car into us. Uh, we've already done a lot of work on his old uh, version seven. So he's just recently sold that and now bought a GC8. Uh, as you can see, it's a very nice car. It's already got a lot of modifications and we are going to be installing a Link ECU. It's getting one of our PBMS baffle sumps installed as well. So it's good for track use. And then, yeah, full retune package and a whole bunch of servicing to make it perfect. And then Lucas is planning to take this to the track days and enjoy it on the weekends around the back roads. So Lucas has decided to go for a baffled sump because they, he will be using the car for a lot of track driving and the factory sumps, they are known for a lot of oil splash in the sump. So the oil is not always at the pickup. Our baffled sump solution will improve that significantly. So the oiling to the bearings is much improved and there's greater reliability. With that's reliability is also another reason why we've gone for the Link ECU. Just because it is a much more modern ECU, it gives us better tunability and just the best result for the car. Currently, the car has got a Apexi FC, which is an older ECU. It hasn't been updated uh, for a lot of years. So going to a much more modern ECU like a Link G4 Plus is basically like upgrading your home computer to something that's current. This has been tastefully modified with some nice uh, race wheels and it, underneath it's got a whole Cusco suspension catalog so the suspension is well sorted. Um, it's also got an upgraded process with top mount intercooler and a couple other exterior bits like this carbon fiber front lip and on the interior we've already got a um, Spyco race seat and steering wheel. We just had Jaden drop off his Mazda 6 MPS so he dropped that off to us this morning. Um, we've got a, a couple of repairs to do. He's got a fringed exhaust from the turbo back that he wants us to install. Couple other bits. He wants to upgrade the high pressure fuel pump in the car. Make sure everything is good to go. And then once we're all ready and happy with it, then put it on the dyno and get a PBMS tune. So this is a 2.3 litre turbocharged engine. Um, the Mazda is got direct injection. So it's running a high pressure fuel pump that's driven by the engine. And we've got a kit here where the internal gears of the pump are upgraded to support that higher fuel demand after the tune. We're expecting to make around 180 to 200 kilowatts to the wheels in this car, which is good power, nothing massive. But what's really good about them is that they have a lot of torque, a lot of load on torque with the 
displacement of the engine, blast the direct injection, and usually you see full boost around 2000 RPM. So it's a very fun experience. Corey's GRB is all done. So we've just built the engine for him. It's all been installed and fully tuned up. Looks very standard and is fairly standard. Just with a better engine, forged internals, and it's ready for a lot more power. So currently it's making 204 kilowatts to the wheels, but it has a lot more potential in it. Uh, so now that the engine is done, he can easily put another turbo on it and just ramp up the boost, ramp up the power and there will be no issues. We have also modified the cylinder heads to support well over 500 horsepower. So it's got our PVMS stage two port and polish. It's got Kelfoot 272 cams and high pressure valve springs. This was mainly done because the engine was already out. It's easy to do now and it will prepare everything for the future once a bigger turbocharger is installed. With any of our builds, we're always working with the customer and we are able to uh, do the builds in stages. So in this case, we have completed the engine, made sure that's nice and strong, and all the bolt-on upgrades can be done at a later stage when Corey is ready. Behind me, we've got Williams uh, 180SX. So we're finally seeing some big progress on here. So, We've been preparing the downpipe, just been starting to fabricate it, also been looking at the wastegate setup, the intake manifold, had some repair work that needed to be done underneath, a whole lot of gaskets are getting replaced, and we're also fabricating parts of the exhaust to suit the setup. And once all of the fabrication side is going to be completed, we're gonna finish the Link ECU install and tune the car. We've just relocated the battery to the boot as well. So it's uh, got a full-size battery in the boot now, including a battery box. And we've also installed the front mount intercooler, lifted that up a bit higher for ground clearance and fabricated the piping. Matt's uh, R34, that's finally taking shape. So we've spent a whole lot of time on this and uh, finished the project. Uh, it's ready to start up. So we completed all the pipe work, including the downpipe, intake and intercooler piping. We've also done a whole lot of wiring and vacuum lines and tidying up around the intake manifold, um, extended the throttle cable, which is mostly needed with these front-facing plenums. Uh, we've also, in this car, done a battery relocation to the boot. So that's sitting in the boot now. Um, it's got a whole lot of GFB bits. So it's got a blow-off valve and a 50 mm external wastegate from GFB. And upgraded aluminum radiator. It's got a Link G4 Plus inside that we will use to tune the car. And it's just, yeah, ready to, ready to roll now. So we're excited to see how much power it will make. The Lotus, as you can see, it's quite a part in pieces. So we've made uh, good progress on this car. We've stripped the transaxle out of the back. That's getting rebuilt now. A whole lot of modifications done to it. We've also started on the front of the car with the whole cooler setup, uh, radiators, fans. We've done a whole lot of suspension bushes here. So everything in the suspension has uh, got new bushings in it which should help it handle. And also obviously the car is not the newest, so always good to replace old worn bushes. We've also removed the, the engine 
which was an interesting project but worked out really well. So that's all gone. We've, once the engine was out, we've also stripped the, the turbos off, got them ready. So there will be a whole lot of fabrication done, including headers and exhaust and also a custom shroud that will go on the back of the car where the exhaust tips pass through. This car is also gonna get a water to air intercooler setup. So from factory, they are non intercooled. So just a direct turbo setup. So that will help with uh, better intake temperatures and also get a lot more power out of this. Um, and also we've taken the fuel tanks out of the car. So uh, there's a whole new set of aluminum fuel tanks that we are preparing for installation with a new high flow fuel pump. Behind me we've got Jonathan's EVO 5. So this is a little bit of a time capsule. The car has been modified uh, probably 10 years ago or longer. And it had an Autronic ECU when it came into us and one of these old school turbo smart wastegates. So we've just brought it back to the future with a Link G4 Plus and a Gen 5 turbo smart wastegate. Did a few repairs prior to the tune, including servicing and spark plugs. And this is going to go to the dyno next week. Greek's 4G63 is coming all together. So behind me we've got the, all the pistons lined up with the uh, conrods. You can see on the bottom all the piston weights. So they've all been balanced. Uh, the weight is evenly distributed uh, across the board which is always good practice to do on any performance engine. Got some JE Forge pistons uh, with Eagle Conrods. And then I've got his block that's ready from, had just come back from machining. So that's been bored and honed and surfaced. Glenn's just been checking thrust on the crank. And now we're basically ready for final assembly. Over here we've got a very special engine that we're building at the moment. This uh, is a EJ25. It is running half inch head studs from IAG. And we've got the new Ultra Series JE Pistons. As you can see, it also looks brand new. This is because we've just vapor blast the block halves. And it's also using our PBMS closed stack modification. That brings us to the end of this month's workshop update. Just a quick reminder for everyone, we are going to be at Mary Mary on the 28th of July, PBMS Track Attack. So anyone that's keen on some drag racing or watch some fast cars, please come down and join us. So until then, see you next time.